ManyChat versus VoiceFlow, which chatbot is better. Today we will discuss about the pros, cons, features, and pricing of ManyChat and VoiceFlow. Here is my honest opinion. ManyChat, what are the pros? ManyChat offers a user-friendly interface that makes it simple to create chatbots for Facebook Messenger. You don't need to know how to code, which makes it accessible to beginners. ManyChat is packed with features designed to help you market your products or services through Messenger. You can send out broadcasts, run campaigns, and even sell products directly through the chatbot. Since ManyChat is built for Messenger, it integrates seamlessly with Facebook. This means you can leverage the massive user base of Facebook to reach potential customers. What are the cons? While ManyChat is great for basic chatbot functions and marketing, some users find that it lacks more advanced features compared to other chatbot platforms. Depending on your needs and the number of subscribers you have, ManyChat can get expensive. The more subscribers you have or the more features you need, the higher the cost. Features. ManyChat specializes in creating chatbots for Facebook Messenger, allowing you to engage with your audience directly through Messenger. ManyChat offers a range of marketing tools, including broadcast messages, drip campaigns, and even e-commerce functionality for selling products. Let's talk about pricing. ManyChat offers a range of pricing plans depending on your needs and the number of subscribers you have. The plans start from free, with paid plans offering additional features and support. VoiceFlow. What are the pros? VoiceFlow allows you to build voice apps for platforms like Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant without needing to know how to code. This makes it accessible to beginners and non-technical users. If you're interested in creating voice-activated applications, VoiceFlow is a powerful tool. It allows you to design and build conversational experiences for users who interact with your app using their voice. VoiceFlow offers collaboration features that make it easy to work with a team on building your voice apps. You can invite team members to collaborate on projects and track changes made by different users. What are the cons? Some users find VoiceFlow to have a bit of a learning curve, especially if they're not familiar with building voice apps. It may take some time to get used to the platform and its features. VoiceFlow is primarily focused on building voice apps for platforms like Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. If you're looking to build chatbots for other platforms like Messenger or Slack, VoiceFlow may not be the best option. Let's talk about features. VoiceFlow specializes in creating voice-activated applications for platforms like Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. It offers a range of tools and features specifically designed for building conversational experiences. VoiceFlow offers collaboration features that allow you to work with a team on building your voice apps. You can invite team members to collaborate on projects and track changes made by different users. Let's talk about pricing. VoiceFlow also offers a range of pricing plans depending on your needs and the features you require. The plans start from free, with paid plans offering additional features and support. So, which one should you choose? If you're looking to build chatbots for Facebook Messenger and focus on marketing, ManyChat might be the way to go. However, if you're more interested in creating voice-activated applications for platforms like Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant, VoiceFlow could be the better option. Ultimately, it depends on your specific needs and preferences.